regardless of whether you fish in the UK or abroad, in fresh water or at sea. Very probably there will be one fish above all others that sticks out very clearly in your mind. This may well be because of its size or its scarcity or the fact that it was dangerous. My most memorable fish fits into the dangerous category, unexpectedly coming from a deep river scour hole in the Peruvian Amazon. We were standing mid-river on the lip of the hall, casting fish baits into it in the hope of catching Paku. Paku are a species of giant piranha which fight harder than any other freshwater species I have yet come across. Despite the heavy rain, this particular day was going well enough until I had a bite that failed to develop. Feeling a small fish had perhaps stripped the hook, I wound in to check the bait. As I did, I could feel something on the end of the line. At first I thought it was weed, but when it hit surface several yards out, its long yellow and green shape had me thinking perhaps it was a snake. The guides on the other hand knew exactly what it was and were off, leaving me stood knee deep in the water, attached to a sizeable electric eel. These fish can belt out over 600 volts at one amp, which I'm told is more than enough to put a grown man on his back. Fortunately for me, it had probably discharged most of its electricity out in deep water when it first realised it was in trouble. Yeah, we got an electric eel. The following morning, we had another one, but this time from the boat. The strange thing about these fish is that they aren't actually eels. In fact, they probably only just qualify as fish, as 80% of their oxygen intake comes from air breathing at the surface. With around four fifths of the body given over to generating and storing electricity, electric eels are little more than a living battery. And what a surprise, as well as a shock, to catch one. <laughs>